morning. We set some questions before the ad breaks, and I've been the answer's here, OK? I kind of cheated and asked a few people. Uh, you might have got these right, and if you got these right, then you're going to be getting a T-shirt. So uh, we asked you, basically, uh, well, these are the answers. Two, two pence, or twopence, uh, it cost, it used to cost, in 1830, to get on the pier, OK? Twopence, that was the answer to that one. Uh, oh, what a lovely war was shot on the West Pier. And uh, the last one was uh, Brighton boasts seven miles of seafront. So they were the answers to the questions. Hope you enjoyed those. And say, if you did get them right, you'll be getting a Wire TV, a lovely, lovely bright yellow thing in the post. Now, take a note of this telephone number, 0272 722 200, OK? That's 0272 722 200. And get it up in their mind or write it down or something because you're going to want us to call us very, very quickly because joining me now is Chris Stacey. Hello. Hello, Chris. Hi, yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Have you for ages? No. You used to do the phone-in. That's right. Thing, regularly yeah. on a Friday. Yeah. Uh, how long haven't you been doing it for? Since April. That's disgusting. I know. Well, it's have to, have to, nice to have you back. It's you nice come to down be back, yeah. You come down from Wolfram Stowe today. Yeah, E17. Today. What's your dog's name? Fluff. Fluff. Has Fluff, Fluff been on before? No, it's first time on telly. Oh, hello, Fluff. Hello, Fluff. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, leave Fluff alone. <laughs> So, Chris, come on, you're going to tell us about what's happening in the Saints. Yeah. And I have to tell you that I'm, I'm a bit thicky on Saints because uh, I like EastEnders, I watch EastEnders yeah. all the time, and now it's on three days a week. It's, it's just brilliant, but uh, the rest of them, I'm a bit of a thicky, so I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you got for us? Well, just quickly on EastEnders, Tricky Dicky, um, as actually I revealed some time ago, is actually leaving. It's been sort of gone into the press now that he's leaving. Um, he doesn't like the the new workload because they're actually working six days a week down at Elstree now. They're actually good because they're on, the, on for three. Two, three, so they're making six. Yeah, so it's a lot of um, time and effort. And they were all a bit fed up, weren't they, because they didn't put them on the bank holiday just That's gone? That's right, yeah. Well, they're, they're on next bank holiday. So Are they? Okay, yeah. But, um, so where's Tricky Dicky going? Well, he's going? leaving. I mean, he's, he's going off to do other things. Ian Reddington, he's a Shakespearean actor anyway. Uh -huh. um, so only been casualty and all sorts of things. So he's going off to do other things. Right. So. Um, that's a bit of goss. Yeah, from, um, he's, he's a really yeah. annoying character, but yeah. he makes you watch. Well, he's just about had every woman in Albert Square now, hasn't he? <laughs> I think he probably has, yeah. <laughs> Not that I was counting, he probably was. <laughs> What else you got for us? Emmerdale. Emmerdale. Um, Actually, before you get on to Emmerdale, if you want to call us up now, Chris is here. If you want to ask any questions about Sage, you want to know the gossip, you want to know what's happening, 0272 722 200. Call us now from wherever you may be in the country. And uh, the good news is we call you back, don't we? Yeah, so we say good. That yeah. Well, well, okay. Emmerdale. Um, Richard Thorpe, who plays Tubby Allen Turner, um, you may have wondered why he's not been on screen so much. Um, he was on This Is Your Life, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. he had a This Is Your Life, and um, shortly after that he collapsed. I mean, that's what This Is Your Life does to you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Aspel. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. but anyway, um, he collapsed just after that, and um, he's been in, in and out of hospital recently for tests, and um, it turns out they found out he's got leukaemia. Really? Yeah. So he, he's going to fight it, he reckons, and um, he's going to plod on with doing Emmerdale. But again, they do they work a busy workload. Yeah. Um, so... Um, yeah, well, I mean, if, if, he's, if he's that ill, I mean, if he gets that ill through the treatment and everything, obviously he's going to have to drop out, isn't he? Yeah. So. so he'll probably be off screen for a few months. Yeah. Well, we wish him well. Yes. We wish him well. Yes. What else have you got for us? Um, Coronation Street. Reg is here to stay for a year. He is? Yeah. Reg Holdsworth. Reg Holdsworth. You know, there was some gossip about Reg might leave, and it was all a bit... Oh, I thought he was. I, I was convinced he was going to be the next James Bond. <laughs> I really was. I mean, I believed it. Did you, well, there was a. Did you see him? He was on like I think, the Richard and Judy show and all those it, sort of yeah. shows. You know, with his stupid wars of pistol and everything. And I thought, well, it's got to be James Bond, but I don't think so. No, really. I don't think so. No, he was. So um, he's going to carry on. Yeah, he he wanted to do other things besides Coronation Street. He wanted to go off and do a panto, and he can actually make a hell of a lot of money doing panto. Um, but the project. It's always been a rule with Coronation Street that you don't go off and do other things. You might open supermarkets, and but you don't go off and do panto. Yeah. Um, or you don't take time off and go and do a sitcom or something. So um, he's come to some agreement with Granada. I'm not quite sure how. Um, but he's not doing the panto. Right. But he has got a salary. And probably pay him more money, which is... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so he's, um, he's there to stay for another year. Right, OK. What else have we got for us? Right. And um, 